plenty money. I don't want to give me the plenty money. Please, oh, there's no plenty money anywhere for now. So please don't chase my helpers away from me. Well, but I can't fail because it's by my side. That's how we do. That's how we roll. Yes. Ooh, it's chills and vibes. Moments with singing. Welcome to another beautiful moment with Simi. I'm going to be doing the get to know me tag. I sent out a question tag on my Instagram story asking what you want to know about me, what you want to know about my life, and I'm going to be reading them out and answering them. Sorry if I'm sounding funny, I'm just recovering. I was sick for a while. Introduction video I told you guys that throughout the time I'm going to be on YouTube, I'm going to give you guys, I'm going to be so generous to give you guys time to subscribe and do all of those things. So before we start this video, I want you guys to subscribe. Please subscribe, like this video, drop comments below at the end of this video. So let me give you some time to subscribe if you don't subscribe or if you don't turn down post notifications. So are you done? Let's move on. So before I go to these questions that I got, I want to like answer basic questions about myself. My full name, I'm Deborah Sinoluwa Oladipo. My first name is actually Deborah. Then my middle name is Sinoluwa, but I prefer Sinoluwa a lot for so many reasons. If you're very Deborah, I'm not saying this to make you feel somehow. Deborah is a beautiful name. I was born 15th June 2002. Yes, I'm a small girl. You know how to shout. Do you understand? Do you understand? Good. Okay, the first question here is where do you school? I school at Caleb University in Mota. I'm studying mass communication in Caleb University. Where would be a place you would like to visit? So the thing is I don't really know much about like different places. I've never traveled abroad before. Well I I think I want to visit Dubai or Maldives, whether with my family alone or my friends or my okay. What? <laughs> Wait, please, please, with my babe. I like the views there, like different places there. What is your biggest motivation? Okay, so I think my biggest motivation is actually the fact that I have a lot, a lot of plans for myself, like big, big plans that I want to achieve. So anytime I'm about to like relent or I don't know about to give up i just remember that okay you have a lot of plans for yourself academically career wise financial financially different plans i have for myself and i just want to achieve them so anytime i think about them i'm pushed like I, I get that that motivation to do better or to put in extra efforts into whatever i am doing do you get me do you understand let's move on where are you seeing this plenty money Really, plenty money. I don't want to give me the plenty money. Please, oh, there's no plenty money anywhere for now. So please, don't chase my helpers away from me. There's no plenty money. Don't worry me. Let's let's be guided. What are your pet peeves? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> licking my spoon when I'm eating. Like if you want to taste out of my food, and then you want to eat, and then you are now licking your spoon. Like licking my spoon, actually. Um, I don't like it. It's chewing out loud. Like you're eating. And you're... Ah! That thing can make me vomit. I hate it so much. Like, be spilling what will happen in the movie while I'm watching it. Like, nothing irritates me when I'm well, watching this movie together. I have watched it before. You watch, you watched one part before, and they are telling me what's going to happen in the next scene. Stop it. Okay, we're watching a movie together, or probably on your bed. I'm on my bed. I'm watching a movie, and I'm watching a movie rather. And I get to a particular scene, and they are telling me, ah, she will, she will jump now. She will jump. Don't, don't do that. Stop. Stop it. Even if I ask you, you know. I get so curious. Don't ask me. <laughs> Cause I remember like recently I went out and then my, my friend also went out and I was coming back, I was in bus. She posted a, a picture of Sharon Oja and that's like my, my favorite actress at the moment. And then she wrote Sissy Miss Baby Yo and I replied that as well. I replied that sending love emoji and I was like, yes, she's so beautiful, something like that. And she was like, she was gonna see the movie. I said, cool, the movie is really nice. I can't wait, I can't wait to see the movie. And the next thing she will tell me is so, so, so let me not spoil the movie for other people but she now told me what was going to happen at the end of the movie and i'm like what if i go to the cinema to go and watch the movie now thinking about what you just told me I, why 
why am I even going to go and watch the movie in the first place? But I'm still going to see the movie anyway. I might even do a movie review for you guys. If you really want a movie review, drop it in the comments below. In the comment section, rather. What am I saying? Okay, the next question here is What's your most useless, useless talent? Ah, something you can do that normal people can't, but you can never make but can never make you money. <laughs> useless talent. I won't say talking, but I talk a lot, but I, it can bring me money because. I don't know. <laughs> it can bring me money. Uh, I think touching my eyeballs without feeling too much, too uncomfortable. I can touch my eyeballs. I can play with my eyeballs. I used to do it when I was small. So I think that's one useless talent I have. Like I can do it, but it can never bring me money. Where would you like to be in the next five years? Achieving my plans, actually. That's what I just want to be doing the next five years to be living big taking care of my family spoiling my family members spoiling my parents spoiling myself living life earning good money legally not me if you illegal i don't want it for like any big spoiling my cousin because everyone is going to kill me if she watches this video and i don't mention that name. so like spoiling my cousin yes whoever god has designed for me to be and I don't really like Focusing on only the future because sometimes when you put your mind to the future too much I'm not saying you should not work towards your future and to ensure that you live a good life in the nearest future But when you put too much like attention, when you give too much attention to it You begin to live more in the future than in the present. So what is my biggest fear? I think my biggest fear is fear of failure. I don't feel like Okay, let me give you an example I think it was last year when we went to school and then we've been having online classes and we've not really like understood what we've been learning and then they were like we're going to resume to write exams and i'm like really I, I don't like pressure if there's anything i don't like i don't like pressure but i'm learning to like work under pressure without without giving up easily <laughs> so i don't like working under pressure so i felt like really really pressured i went, went to school i was still having hope that okay when i get to school i'll be motivated i'll not be so scared again but when i go to school i'm like What's going on? Like I'm feeling so much pressure. I can't, what I'm reading, I'm not even getting it the way I'm meant to. I'm not understanding the way I, sh I would on a normal day. So I think the day the time table finally came out, I just went to the corridor. There was no lights, so it was in the evening. So I just went to the corridor. I didn't know when tears started coming out of my eyes. Not like it when I'm not when I'm not like at least seventy percent prepared for what I'm about to do. But at the end of the day, I can't fail. God is by my side. That's how we do. That's how we roll. Yes, <laughs> I just told my friend. Okay, I told Nimi. I said, let's go. Let's let's take a stroll. I went took a stroll to the cafeteria. I would turn back and came back to the hotel, and I felt a lot better. I think it works for me when I'm under pressure. Like let me just take a stroll, go out, enjoy myself. I think it helps me feel better. So I think my biggest fear is the fear of failure. Another thing is, I don't. Another fear I have is experiencing some things I've experienced in the past before, like going through those things all over again. There's some things I've gone through that they really overwhelmed me. They really brought me down and it took me a lot to pick myself back up and get back to like go back to normal. So I don't want to like go through some things again. But I've learned that if they're about to arise, I know how to avert them. Like things to do and other things like that. But we all know that even for some things that have happened in some of us, like in the lives of some of us in the past, we will not be who we are today. Like we will not have learned some things we've learned today. Who is your role model? I don't really have a role model per se. I don't really have a, a particular role model like someone I don't say, okay, this person I want to be like, or this person I want to emulate throughout my life. But I have different people around me. I look at them. I'm like, okay, I like I like what this person is doing. I I I I love it. I admire it. And I just want to like emulate it and you know either adjust, change, or adapt to those things. For example, like I look at you and the way you smile. The way you don't allow things easily get to you, I'm like, okay, I love that. I want to emulate that. I look at different people. Okay, let me give an example of Sharon Oja. Sharon Oja, a guru bay. She's an actress. Movies. If you go back to watch her previous movies, movies she has featured in actress. And you watch them according to how they've come, they all came out up to date. Like her movies up to date. You see that she was progressing every movie. Like it felt like she was growing with those movies. From that, I learned that okay, no matter how good you are, yeah. You don't have to like stand on it, just stay on that spot and not move. You need to push yourself to do better. And that person I look at and I learn from is Tomike Adeoye. I think 
one thing I love about Tomi Kandiwe is she's always able to like express herself. If she feels like crying, she will cry. Like in that particular moment, not like cry, like being sad, no. But like when she sees her fans or when something is going on, she just like expresses her feelings and she smiles a lot. The question is, do you drink and have you ever gotten drunk before? Okay, the thing is, I don't drink, but I've gotten drunk before. <laughs> okay, how did it happen? I don't, I don't like a call, but we're like playing a game, and it felt like I was the only one I was not going to like join. Yes, I allowed pre pre peer pressure <laughs> to get to me, but like I could have easily said no, but I didn't want it to look like I was going to be alone and I'm not going to know what. Like I'm not just going to be part of the game. It was like you say it or shot it kind of thing. Like if you can't answer or say the truth, you're going to like take a shot, and then we're taking this, we're taking it, taking it, and I'm like. Alcohol is overrated, Joe. I'm not drunk. Nothing is wrong with me. This and that. Like, let me just let's let's continue. Let's continue. At the point, I just realized that my head was not feeling so. I don't know. I was not feeling myself anymore. The way I should. And I'm like, what's going on? The game was over, and that was where everything just started. And I'm like, in my life, I will not. <laughs> I will not try that again because. Ah, it was not a good experience. I think alcohol is overrated. I don't like it. I don't like how it tastes. I would feel, and I never want to feel the way I felt that day again in my life. That's it. Have you ever smoked before? I have never smoked before, and I'm not planning to smoke. You guys you know I ask so many questions, but let me get some questions from my cousin. My cousin is here, but I don't think she wants to show on camera, but I'll ask her some questions that she wants to ask me. Ewa, ask me any question. Ask me, <laughs> ask me any question. Okay, so Ewa has gotten her questions ready, and I'm going to be asking her some questions. So, Ewa, all the What are your questions? If money was not a problem, what would you do for She said, if money was not a problem, what would I do for a whole day? <laughs> if money was not a problem, ah, I would order all the things that I've taken screenshots of on my phone. <laughs> All those screen, every I think everybody's guilty of that thing. All those screenshots on my phone of things that I actually want. Like I'm going to like buy all of them. I don't know for it's just a day, right? I'll go out. Like I, there's a place that I want to I'll tour almost all the restaurants in this world because I like food. I'll go out, I'll shop, clothes, bags, everything. I don't know, I'm not thinking well now, so I don't say things that I don't know, but like I will buy things, I will shop, I will go, I'll go and see a movie, I will go to restaurants, and I will save the rest of the money in the box since the whole day. I had money for the rest of the other days, you know, to the take care of myself. Away. The money will not go away. <laughs> the money is not going to go anywhere. I would go and save it to the bank because if not, if it was not for a whole day, I would have done many other things. Your next question. If you could go back in time to change. If I would go, if I could go back in time to change one thing, what would it be? <laughs> I don't know. My CGPA from okay, I think my first CGPA was by four point two five. I will change it to like four point nine. I will. I'm joking, but <laughs> that's not what I will change. I don't think I will change anything. Though, to be honest, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I will change anything. And that question. Are you ever going to get it at all? Oh, Am I ever going to get a tattoo? I already have a piercing. Yeah, in fact, I, no, I don't. I don't like tattoos. I don't know. I don't just fancy tattoos. If you had to, if you had to pick an animal that you would be for a week, what animal would you pick? Imagine if I could. If you had to pick an animal that you would be for a week, what animal would you pick? You could pick an animal that would be for a whole week. A pallor dog. A pallor dog. Let's take care of those. Those dogs a lot, like don't be rubbing my head, you know, giving me food, I'll be drinking milk and stuff like that. So I'll be a follow dog. Are you an introvert or an extrovert? Am I an introvert or an extrovert? Ah. So let me not say I don't know. If I'm if I'm going to a place for the first time, I'm going to like just stay on my own sometimes. But like most of the time I'm an extrovert. What's the weirdest food you've eaten? What is the weirdest food I've eaten? I think it was secondary school when our seniors did practical. I think rice and green green sauce. Yes, that's the weirdest food I've eaten. But it was sweet. Okay, so I think that's enough for this video. 
Let me see that well stay, you guys, this one. Thank you for all the support you guys have been showing me on my channel. Like, I'm so grateful. But please, if you've not subscribed, kindly subscribe, like this video. What content do you think I should create? Drop your comments below. Turn on post notifications so that you can get updates on every video or content I drop here on this channel. I keep up with my Instagram page. I'm going to put it down somewhere around here. Yes. Just like keep up my Instagram page because there I ask questions on my story and other things like that. Okay, it's time to go. I want you guys to scope me small before I go. Who wants this top? I really like the top and I'm not whining. I'm not giving anybody my top. But if you want it, you can drop it in the comment section below. So that's all for today, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. Turn up post notifications. I'm saying it again so you don't forget. In case you forgot it before, why scope it? Bye. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's chills and vibes, moments with sin.